Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, president of Trident Concepts, and today I'm here with Brownell's Daily Defense to talk to you about mounting red dot sights. So when it comes to mounting a red dot sight, you got a couple of options. If you've got a firearm such as this, it's got an upper rail that's that's got the Picatinny mounts all the way across the top, what I'm gonna tell you to do is to go ahead and mount that optic to the receiver portion, the actual receiver portion, and not the forend. And the reason behind that is that the forend isn't as stable as the receiver. And because this is supposed to be a precise instrument, we wanna generate the most precision, which is gonna be back on the receiver. Now, the other thing that we talk about is that sometimes we have options as far as where we can put it on that receiver. What we're trying to do is we're trying to, um, we're trying to accommodate a couple of different things. One is going to be balance. I want to make sure that the rifle is somewhat balanced. So if I can get it into a part that's about in the middle, that's going to be good. The next thing that I want to make sure of is that I want to make sure that I have the proper eye relief. Now, the nice thing about these optics is that they don't really require, they have unlimited eye relief. So I can move that optic forward and back on that receiver to find the optimal balance. One nice thing about these types of optics is that you can get aftermarket products that are magnification devices that go behind them. So when you're mounting the optic, if that's something that you might move towards, then you want to make sure that you're giving yourself enough room to later add and not have to reassess or readjust everything. One thing that you will also find is that these mounts can have different heights. So what's the right height for you? Well, I recommend that you have a height that allows you to see the dot clear without the red dot being superimposed on the top of the front sight post. So it's a little bit higher up. And when it's a little bit higher up, what that allows is that allows me to see a greater field of view which is one of the nice things about using these optics. They have a really extended field of view. So once you have decided on where you're going to put it, most of these optics are coming equipped with a mount already. And so the actual mounting of the optic is pretty easy. Now, once I have the mount on the receiver itself, it's still going to have a little bit of play. What I want to do is I want to push the optic all the way forward so it's contacting the front part of the rail then I can hit that throw lever to lock it in place. And that's just going to give it nice contact continuity with the front part of that rail system. All right, I'm Jeff Gonzalez. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them down below. Until then, take care and stay safe.